peace what's up y'all this is queen sarita coming to you with another video this one's about the ace of swords cards we're going to be talking about basically the keynotes and the keywords and the symbolism of these cards and what does it actually mean when you get one of these sword cards in the tarot i'm using four different decks today to show you what the ace of swords actually looks like so i'm going to be flipping through these cards to show you here's one i'm going to be using this tarot deck which is the tarot of the tarot of the new vision tarot deck and i'm also going to be using the radiant rider white tarot deck also look for the links below to all of these and also check out my online course i gotta tell you all about it or you'll never find out about it awakening to the intuitive language of tarot where i go over each and every card and through the entire tarot and we learn how to read tarot intuitively specifically okay so when you're dealing with the ace of swords you're dealing with somebody like me who's been a tarot reader for a long time i love tarot and i have a lot of elements of air in my person and in the ace of swords some of you may know about this very logical minded being very objective a lot of objectivity in your mindset you know focused on things that have to do with building your intellect things that are of choice making choices the different ranges of the definitions and meanings of this card have to do with when it's upright right is the upright card like this you're dealing with making objective decisions making decisions that are based on logic also you're using a little bit of reasoning really using a lot of reasoning when you're using this tarot deck when you're using i'm sorry this tarot suit of the swords meaning you're gonna be thinking about what you do before you really take action a lot of times solving riddles problems you know troubleshooting also looking at things in a technical way also looking at things in a critical way also structuring things scheduling clearing your mind seeking clarity when it's upright this is a new doorway to either learning how to do these things delving deeper into using your mind using your mental power looking at opportunities looking at what's open to you using your mind to keep yourself focused on those things also clarity seeking clarity when you're getting this ace of swords card looking at the facts looking for facts looking for the truth um, really sorting things through mentally okay now when it's reversed it's gonna be upside down if you choose to read your tarot cards that way and I do um, sometimes this is like the shadow or the objective uh, or people would say obstructions challenges in the way that's what a reverse card could mean or reveal so when you get it like this you could be being a bit mean ruthless in your moving forward mentally your mindset may be not looking at all aspects of what's happening and it could be that you're focused in just a tiny part of what's really happening or not seeing what's really happening at all let's see what else looking over things with a broad stroke too much so that you don't see the details ignoring the details or being too caught up in the details or in you know the facts and and pushing your judgments on other people it could also mean a new doorway is open up for you but instead of taking action you stay in your mind about it you stay looking at your superior mind your superior intellect so to speak also comparing yourself to other people's mindsets using your quick wit and thinking too fast and not seeing the details and running into danger what else being fearful of a new doorway that is opened up for you and you think about it too much and you don't take any action not looking at the consequences of your actions mentally holding back on beginning something new 
this card is showing that it is a good thing to start something new. It's showing an option. And you may be looking at things as there's only one way, but there's many ways. Many ways that you can do this when you're at the crossroads of the Ace of Swords. And this card is merely a way of showing you that, wow, something big is coming up here. Something massive is coming up. And are you going to take action based on logic or based on your fears? So yeah, that's basically it for this card. I'm going to talk to you more about this Ace of Swords card. Read the text below. All right. If you're interested in Awakening to the Intuitive Language of Tarot, my online course, check it out below. Look forward to seeing you all sign up. I also have a master class also that is free. I'm going to come out with a couple more of them so you can get a, a sense of how I teach and how I share this tarot stuff. In this master class, I was really wanting to share with you like an hour worth of looking at the tarot, like ideas on how to look at it. The next video we come out with is going to show more pictures so that you can dive into the visual aspect of the tarot as well because that's a huge part of it and also using crystals and tarot together too if you'd like a reading with me also check it out you can also reach out to me queen sarita queen underscore sarita you can find me on instagram you can also leave me a message in the comments below i'd love to see you all's like comment and share you know, do that because I need to be in the algorithm of YouTube so I can share more of these videos. If you found it helpful in any way, then please share this with someone else also. And I look forward to talking to you all soon, talking to you all soon. I want to keep this video nice and short. And yeah, check out the playlist also on YouTube where I am talking to you about the terror ongoing. So I'll talk to you. Peace.